Uh, my name is Ahmed Sawafiri, founder of uh, Startup Bahrain. Um, uh, Startup Bahrain is an interactive uh, tablet magazine. Uh, it's first of its kind in Bahrain. And uh, we focus on entrepreneurs and startups. What kind of traction have you seen since you launched it? Uh, there are two reasons why we think uh, we got a lot of attention. The first was the fact that it was an innovative product because we came up with a magazine that has uh, interactive content, video interviews and stuff like that. So people did not expect to see that in a, in a, in a, in a traditional magazine. They expected just a flip, type, flip page type of magazine. Why, when they saw interviews and interactivity and video integrated with content, they were impressed. At the same time, we were successful to basically communicate stories in, in, a, in a much better uh, way to people. And uh, the second uh, reason why it took up uh, very quickly is the fact that in Bahrain, at least, we do not have a medium that covers or focuses on entrepreneurs and startup uh, stories. So uh, somehow that, that was a, a significant gap and uh, we're currently hoping to bridge with the, with the magazine, yeah. Very cool, and what's your biggest challenge with, with launching this kind of specialized iPad and iPhone publication? If you're the first, you will have to pay the price of awareness, you will have to pay the price of marketing, you will have to pay the price of educating uh, people about the product. So we spent a lot on, on, on uh, education and, uh, and uh, spreading the word about the product. On the other hand, we, we managed to get a lot of attention from the media because of the fact that the product itself is very innovative. Uh, we got a lot of uh, uh, attention from the media, TV interviews, uh, press coverage and all that. And that helped us really take, take, uh, take off uh, very, very quickly. Yeah. Very cool. And what would you say characterizes the uh, startup ecosystem in Bahrain as opposed to maybe other ecosystems? What are some things that are unique about starting a business in Bahrain? First of all, we have a very strong ecosystem in Bahrain. Uh, I think in the presence of an organization like Temkin, Temkin is an organization that, I mean, I haven't seen similar organizations to similar to Temkin in, in, in the region. They offer uh, grants, they offer funds, they offer advice, and they, there's, a lot, there's a lot that Temkin uh, basically offers to, to entrepreneurs. At the same time, there is a number of uh, uh, financial institutes who provide financing to startups and SMEs. Uh, at the same time, we have uh, uh, an angel investment company and we have uh, uh, a business incubation center which is now growing. So from an ecosystem perspective, I think we're doing great. And uh, I think there's a lot of initiatives nowadays taking that uh, even further. And uh, being a magazine, covering all those activities makes a lot of sense. What are the dominant sectors in Bahrain? I would say fashion and technology are the biggest sectors in which I've seen a lot of uh, uh, activity. Yeah. Any advice in particular? Yes, uh, flexibility. Flexibility is key for entrepreneurs. Don't just get stuck at whatever you're doing. If it's not working, try to think beyond whatever you're doing. Try to uh, maybe uh, look at other uh, opportunities. Not necessarily close down and open something else, but try to see if there are other lines of business that you haven't thought of that you can actually expand to.